Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming and it is September 3rd. I've already got all of our pallets loaded up. Now uh, we got the eggs on the truck and the lettuce on the trailer. Already checked the prices. Uh, Johnson's is the best price for both lettuce um, and also for eggs. Uh, unfortunately, this is the worst month to be selling lettuce, but uh, from here it'll get uh, better. And uh, for those of you who don't know this, um, I am role playing selling my produce every month because I don't have cold storage, and lettuce is not going to keep if you if you you know keep it for a long time it'll it'll go bad. So we're just selling our produce every month regardless of the price. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna get that done. Uh, we're gonna pull the trailer out afterwards and fill up the greenhouses with water. I've got a little bit of extra fertilizer that I pulled out here that we're also just gonna dump in the greenhouse. Just get rid of the pallet. And then I think that'll be it for September 3rd. We'll sleep till uh, October 1st, and then we'll have a lot of stuff going on in October. Let's take a look at um, price. Or, or I'm sorry, the sales. Is there anything in the sales we might be interested in? No, not really. Now, nah, okay, so that's a forage header. That's a sugar cane thingy. Small tractor and a silage compactor. None of that stuff is anything we're interested in right now. Okay, so I'll see you over at Johnson's and we'll get this stuff sold. All right, we made eleven thousand thirty-five dollars off of that sale. Not too bad, but definitely will be a lot better in the coming months with the prices going back up on the produce. Okay, let's head back to the ranch and get the greenhouses filled up, and then we'll sleep. Why don't we give our uh, pickup truck a little TLC here? Wash the dirt off of it, fix the paint. Okay, so if we go into here, uh, go to vehicles, condition, dirt, damage, wear. Set the wear to 100%, or er, no, 0%. And there we go. Paint is fixed. Looks just like brand new. As it should. <laughs> okay, let's pick up this uh, remaining fertilizer. Not a whole lot left in there. And let's see which one of our greenhouses has the least amount of fertilizer in it. They're all very close. So this is 2375, this is 2373, and this is 2375. So the middle one has the least by two liters. So we'll just dump the rest of this in here. It's going to go in so fast, I'm not going to really be able to catch it to distribute it evenly. I mean, look, it's done. <laughs> so, okay, let's get these greenhouses filled up with water. We'll use our super fast magic well here. Fill up the tank. That's funny, man. It shouldn't. It shouldn't take anywhere near that, or, or shouldn't be going that quickly. It would take a lot longer, but it's the way the well works. Okay. The vanilla, there is a vanilla like water tank thingy that you can first, first of all, pay an arm and a leg for to, to just even get it. And then it charges you for water on top of that using it, which if you're drawing it from your own well, doesn't make any sense. So that's why I, I have opted not to use that one. But I do admit for realism that other well is a little bit OP, but it's what we got, so. The alternative is to drive 
over to the pond every time I want to fill up, which I could do, but we'll just keep the well. Okay, that greenhouse is full. Let's start filling this one. Okay, final greenhouse is filled with water. So we'll go ahead and park the tanker over here. So this has uh, about 6,300 liters of water left in it, but we'll have to refill the greenhouses with water again, maybe even a couple of times before we have to do, redo fertilizer. That to get over a little little more. Oh, we hit the bales. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. Yeah, I wondered if those bales were going to be in the way, but it's all right. We'll just keep them there for now unless they really cause a major problem. Okay, guys. Uh, we are finished with September. So, we're going to sleep Tomorrow is going to be the third hay cutting season, um, which is going to bring uh, contracts to us and money, and uh, we will be harvesting our corn and then converting that little corn patch into more hay for us, uh, for silage. Okay, so I will see you on October 1st. morning everybody it's uh october the first and um og probably should change his clothes he's been wearing <laughs> these clothes for a long time uh so let's take a look and see what we got here um these are like just pre-configured outfits um that's something probably he'd wear in the winter time that's the b outfit let's see that looks like he's ready to go to the races, man. I like the cowboy hat. It's probably a little, still a little bit warm to be wearing clothes like that, though. So, how about if we give him? This is what he used to wear. That's a sweater. I think we should just give him a t-shirt because it's pretty warm outside. And then, oh, look at that t-shirt. That's cool. Yeah, he can wear the farm sim t-shirt. Uh, all right, so for pantalones, he can wear... No. <laughs> what the heck, man? Um, yeah, we'll, we'll give him these uh, parachute pants. That's good enough. And then uh, let's give him some, some boots to wear. Uh, I like those. Okay, and then finally we got to change the hat. Um, how about how about we get our cowboy on? We'll work some cowboy hat. All right, that's looking good. That is looking good. Let's just uh, double check here and make sure. Oh, geez, looking the way we want him to look. Uh, what is? That's funny that that happens. You know, I think I think OG needs some some shades, man. <laughs> That's funny, man. Yeah, let's go with those. <laughs> Look at you, man. Right on. <laughs> Okay, OG's ready to work. 
Enough screwing around. Let's get to it. We got lots of work to do, as usual. Uh, all right, so first order of business. Let's check the sales and see if anything good's come up. Uh, what is this? Levelers are used to remove shaft and silage and level heaps and silage. Okay, nope, that's definitely not anything we need. Here is a large Fint tractor, which is way beyond what we can afford. 60% off, though, uh, up to 431 horsepower. That's pretty nice. And then this compactor is still in there. It's like they really want to get rid of that silage compactor, but we just don't need anything like that. We might do um, silage silos, bunkers, once we have cattle going, um, but, you know, that's still a ways out. Uh, that's not going to happen anytime soon. All right, so that takes care of that. One thing I did want to do is I wanted to reposition the spawn in point from the store because I moved it over here and I've noticed that it starts here and then goes over here. And if there's not enough room, then it puts everything else back at the store. So let's actually move it on this end of the yard. And if my theory is correct, it should spawn in here and start lining stuff up that direction, giving it more room. Okay, so um, let's... I don't think it matters which direction we're looking. Maybe it does. I don't know. But we want to do shift alt S. Okay. So, yeah, that sets the spawn point here. Very good. Let's go into our contracts here and see what we got. All right. Just as I figured, we have all of the bailing stuff. Um, we're just going to take these uh, contracts as they are because we borrow the stuff for 71 as usual we will take every cultivating contract we've got all of the equipment to do those so we don't have to pay anything extra um and i'll probably have the ai do just about all of those as usual we're not doing plowing okay here's 71 and doggone it they want bales or hay again instead of silage all right here's what it is um we at least we get the chrome this time which is great uh so we're going to borrow these items uh, all right, maybe my theory's wrong. <laughs> there wasn't room for anything. Well, well, doggone it. All right, well, that means everything else is down at the store. Since I'm not entirely sure how this doggone thing's supposed to work, I guess we'll just um put it back in the middle and call it good. All right, well, yeah, everything else is back down at the store. That's not a big deal, though. We'll just go down to the store. We've got to pull it all out to the field anyhow. Uh, all right, so let's continue with looking at the contracts here. Uh, so, yeah, we're not doing plowing. I don't know if I told you guys this or not, but one or two or three episodes back, I took two plowing contracts right at the end and then did those off camera. Well, the God's honest truth is that I only did one, and it took me so doggone long that I just canceled the other one. It's like, this is not worth my time. So we are just not doing plowing contracts. They suck. Uh, okay. The exception to that might be this. If if we find a really big plow on sale and we can afford it and it makes sense to buy it, then I might take plowing contracts and have the AI do them, but I'm not doing them myself. It's just boring. It takes forever and not fun. Okay, anyway, enough of that. Let's uh get some more going. Okay, so we have two more cultivating. We'll take those. More cultivating. Yeah, that's not surprising. More cultivating. And it looks like that's it. Nothing else is coming up. Ah, too bad we didn't get a harvest contract. That would have been fun, but... All right, well, then we got the usual baling and the usual cultivating. So I'm going to have the AI take care of all the cultivating, like I said, except for maybe the smallest fields, uh, the ones that I can just knock out in a couple minutes. And then we will also work with the AI to do the baling. So the first step to that, of course, is getting all the equipment out to field 71. We always start with 71 because it's the biggest field and uh, get that going. So let's drive on down to the store where everything else is at. And yeah, we're going to do the contracts. We're going to do the contracts first um on october 1st and then we'll either do our corn later today or we'll maybe wait and do it on october 2nd we'll just see how things go 
Oh my goodness, look how close they put everything. That's funny. Um, also, we're missing a tether. Wait, this is a hay contract, right? Not a silage? Yeah, dry it with a tether and bale it. Where the heck's the tether at? All right, we might have to lease the tether and then pay ourselves back for that. But, oh, and the crone's not here either. <laughs> the whole thing's screwed up. Oh my goodness, okay. That's, that's interesting. Can I, uh, uh, why don't we actually here, let's do this. Let's reload. Let's reload. And the reason being is because I want to move that spawn point over before we take the contracts um, to see if, we, you know, we can get more stuff spawning in on our, on our property. This could change the contracts too, and maybe we'll luck out and 71 will turn into a silage, but I'm not doing that deliberately for that reason. I'm doing it because I want to see if I can get this spawning to, to work reasonably well. And if we do happen to get silage on 71 this time around, then, you know, yay us. But the more important reason is I want to, I want to get the spawning to kind of work the way it's supposed to. So let's just put this back in the middle. Okay. All right, let's go back to the contracts again. And 71 is not there yet, but it should show up. Two cultivating. Oh, we got a harvesting this time. What? Wait, where did it go? It just disappeared. Oh, man. What the heck? Okay, cultivating. I don't know why it disappeared. Maybe the AI found someone else to do it before I had a chance to jump on it. <laughs> I have no idea. That sucks though, it. Okay, here's 71 and oh, it did turn turn into silage. Awesome. Okay. That's just it's just more money for us, you know, it, it, the, that's really the main reason. Um Okay, so that did change to silage. Fantastic. Okay, we are going to borrow these items. And they started, I could see behind my screen that they started to spawn in, but now they're moving to the left instead of to the right. Oh, you know what? I wonder if it has to do with the direction that I'm facing. Oh, I'll bet you that's what it is. So if I face this direction... And put the the point down there. Then theoretically, everything should spawn down that way. Let's try it one one more time. This is for science, you guys. <laughs> We're doing this for science, okay? Uh, quit the game without saving. Maybe we'll lose our silage contract now, but that's okay. I'd rather figure this out so we know, and then you know that way we know. That would seem to be the case because <clears throat> it seems to go to the right of wherever I'm placing the marker. Okay, so if we face this direction and then place the marker here, so shift alt S. Now, if I'm correct, everything should spawn here and then just go bing, bang, boom down the line that way. Okay, let's try this again. Um, contracts. Okay, so take all of the baling, the two cultivating. Oh, and fertilizing, nice. Harvesting, take them, quick, <laughs> before they disappear. What are they? Soybeans, okay, nice. And sunflowers, all right, cool. So, really small harvesting contracts. Um... This, okay, here's the thing. How big is 75 again? 75 is going to be way down here. It's not 
enormous, but it's good sized. But here's the thing. We've got a, uh, I should have borrowed that stuff, but I, I, I wanted to jump on it before they disappeared. But we've got a lease, a corn header anyways to do our corn, and we should be able to use that also on the sunflowers. Okay. Um, all right, let's get back into here. So, yeah, that should be fine. And then what is this? That's soybeans. We've got everything we need for that. You know what that means, though? It means we need to buy um, a header trailer, and we just need to do it. So we will also be doing that when the time comes. Okay, let's go here and refresh the contracts. Cultivating, 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 cultivating. We're not doing plowing. Refresh the contracts. Cultivating. There's 71. Uh, and it's back to hay. <laughs> that got it. All right. Borrow items. Yep, that's the way it works. Okay, cool. So now we know. If you guys are ever using this mod in your game in the future, just know that everything spawns in to the right of wherever you put the marker. Cool. So now everything's on our property. And we got all of it. That's the important thing. All right. Uh, anything else that we... Yeah, here's another cultivating. Uh, another cultivating. All right, I think that's it, you guys. That is it. So we got a couple of little harvesting contracts. Honestly, we're not going to really make that much money off of them, but we'll do them just because it's fun. And uh, then the rest of it's just the usual cultivating and baling. Okay, so let's see. What's the first step here? This is always a, a big uh, uh, multitasking challenge for me because i'm not typically a very good multitasker but it's also fun though too we enjoy it why don't we do this why don't we get the crone out to field 71 first and get the ai started on mowing and then what we'll do is we'll get the ai started on the cultivating and then we will move oh i guess i gotta go this way I'll start moving the rest of the equipment out to 71, and we'll kind of go from there. Oh, 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 look what I just found. Look what I just found. A collectible! Five more water trailers to be found, and we made another thousand dollar make you holla. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. Okay. As usual, I'm going to do the the boundaries. So we pull in that little bit of extra hay before I turn it over to the AI. Let's get some lights going here. Whoops. Looks like the flaps are up, so we should be okay on that. And let's get to it. I'm straightening out this next row here because if I don't, the AI usually misses this little patch over here. You know, from having to do that curve there. Oh, well, speaking of missing stuff. Come on, OG. And now we are going to jump in our New Holland, grab our cultivator and get out to the first field and get the AI started on that. You'd think I've done this a few times now. Oh, 
Okay, so we, we'll, we'll probably just start in the northeast or northwest corner of the map. Uh, so let's go here and look at cultivating. So field five and seven are going to be up in that area in the northeast. Okay. So let's do this. Let's send the AI up there, and then I'll jump up there when they arrive and get them started. I haven't had a lot of luck in telling them to go get started without me. You, you're supposed to be able to do that, but it doesn't seem to work very well. All right, so let's go here. Select the New Holland. Great job. Go to, and we want to start with five. So just kind of get yourself staged right here. In fact, I might end up doing five myself because it's so small, but they'll have them do seven. Very good. All right. We will start hauling the rest of the equipment out to field 71 now. All right, let's check on our cultivator worker. Okay, he's at the field. And yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do the small one and then I'll turn him loose on the big one here. Okay, field five is completed. Let's turn that one in and get it off the list. I don't know if this little divot's gonna screw up the AI, so I'm gonna start them on this side of the field. It probably won't, but we'll just get them started over here. Oops. Okay, that should be good. Go to it. All right, let's get the rest of this stuff out to 71. You know, I noticed everything kind of came in at an angle, so I wonder if I wasn't standing square or right on the cardinal direction when I put that stuff uh, or set the spawn in point. So I might have to redo that. All right, what is not, what's not hooked up here? Those aren't hooked up. Yeah, if you don't hook up the lines, then the tractor goes really slow. My guess is it's because the brakes are still on on the trailer, so you're trying to pull it with the brakes on. We don't have the advantage in a video game to smell burning brakes, though, so <laughs> I wouldn't know that. It's 
something else that I just remembered too. Uh, we're gonna swap the New Holland uh, for the Kloss tractor because the Kloss has more horsepower and it'll get the cultivating done more quickly. And the New Holland will do just fine pulling the baler and uh, the loading trailer here. Okay, so let's see here. Um, I gotta think about what's gonna happen next. So that, so our mower is a little over half done. So they're doing good. I'm probably gonna save those harvest contracts for the very end. So yeah, let's just focus on getting the the haying and the cultivating done. So I'm gonna run this up to uh, the New Holland and swap the tractors. No, dummy, wrong field. Why do they do that? I, I think it's that little divot that screwed him up. Yeah, I, I thought that might be a problem. All right, well, we're taking it out of his pay as usual. <laughs> The, uh, the Giants need to work on that, though, because, yeah, that's not right. It is not right. Okay. It's a good thing we got out here when we did, man. In fact, I'm going to finish this. Might as well. So let's send the New Holland back to, I guess, back to Field 71. Great job. Go to and just stage right here in the field. But you're not in the way of the mower. Looks like maybe our our mowing AI is done, which is good. I just want to get this finished up and then we'll send this guy on to the next cultivating field and we'll go back and get the AI started on the tedding. Actually guys, yeah, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here and then we'll just we're going to pick up right where we left off in the next episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did, you know what to do. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share out the video. And there we go. Let's turn this in or let you go. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.